three stories. Uh, the first uh, couple of us went to uh, the quad and uh, shimmied up the um, flagpole and had a uh, red can of paint on a rope and a paintbrush and we slid down the, paint, the flagpole and uh, painted it red like a barber's pole. And uh, that was one. Two, we, uh, we stole the, uh, the bell they, that they ring every, for every meal. We stole it one night and hid it under the headmaster's uh, table, Dr. Gableine, and uh, we took a joker card out of the deck of cards and put an S at the end of it and slid it under his napkin. And so everybody was confused because the bell didn't ring. And when they all got in the dining hall, there's this commotion and they took they had to get about six guys to get the bell out from under the table. And uh, it all went back to normal. And I was sitting at my table when the, head, uh, the maitre d' came up and said, Dr. Gableon wants me to give you this card back. <laughs> and it was like, got busted. Um, but one of the more uh, funny ones was, uh, was uh, we broke into the chapel one night, stole the guest speaker's velvet cushion off his chair. We soaked it in water and put it back. And the next morning when chapel came in, we were all sitting in chapel when the, uh, Peter Hale and his uh, guest speaker came in, we all stand to sing the hymn. We sang the hymn, we all sit down, the guest speaker sat down on a wet cushion. And it was a commotion. But the fourth story that you didn't ask for, Johnny Cummings had a bookie system. He used to go around during the day and take money on guessing what hymn they're gonna, they're gonna sing. Well, he got this innocent girl to take, uh, you know, to take in on and bet. He had this whole bookie system going, and she put 25 cents down, and uh, they called out her hymn. She stood up and said, "I've won." <laughs> it was the, it was the end of uh, Johnny Cummings' booking system, bookie system. But that's it. Stony Brooks is the best.